Hi, everyone. Welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, February 10th, 2023. There seems to be some excitement over at Project Veritas um, when they should be celebrating the huge coup of getting on tape one of the directors admitting to directed evolution. What they're doing instead is putting the founder, James O'Keefe, on paid leave and attempting, apparently, a coup. Now, discussion boards are talking about this. One of the things I mentioned is that we're going to see this more and more often, that genuine founders of conservative outlets and voices are going to be shoved aside by cultural ones and try to uh, redirect and uh, dilute the original message. I want to do a read tonight about James O'Keefe. Before I do, I'm going to show you a couple spots where I was reading about the situation over at Project Veritas. And I'm going to say right now, regardless of whatever the cards tell us, while the founder and the person that actually is Project Veritas, James O'Keefe, is on paid leave, and this coup is in process, I encourage you to unsubscribe to Project Veritas on whatever platform you may be following it. I did here on YouTube. I also have on Twitter. It's just one little subscription that, you know, every little bit counts. And, uh, and then, again, no matter what the cards tell us, if I was to say one thing to Mr. O'Keefe, it'd be to remember, you are not Project Veritas. Project Veritas was you. And without you, it's going to cease to exist. It'll become just another one of those deluded uh, conservative wannabe voices, like we've seen so often, you know? <laughs> I could name names, but if you're a conservative, so can you. Okay, let me show you the articles that I was looking at. This is by no means all of them. It's just a couple that I'll have uh, links to in the comments so you can, uh, uh, or in the description so you can check them out if you're so inclined. Okay, PJ Media had an article. James O'Keefe put on leave at Project Veritas. Has there been a coup? Okay, I'm scrolling, so please look away if that bothers you. Not a long article, just take a couple minutes to read. And then over at theconservativetreehouse.com, there's an article that says, Hostile Takeover of Project Veritas Seeking to Remove James O'Keefe. DeSantis-aligned operatives are spearheading the effort for renewal. Removal. Good to know. I've been saying to Samus, uh, even though he's a 2.0, is uh, not a white hat, and he's showing his colors. He's showing his colors. Okay. So let's see what the cards have to say. I know Project Veritas is not going to be the voice it is without James O'Keefe. And James O'Keefe even though he's put a lot of years and effort into building Project Veritas, could, while he's on this leave, start a whole other project with the kind of integrity and in-depth reporting and integrity that we see with what he brought to the creation of Project Veritas. So let's see what's happening with him, because that's where the voice, the conservative voice is going to be, and the uh, the investigative reporting that we don't get from other people, he'll be providing that on whatever platform he ends up on. And hopefully it's back on the one he found it. But if not, he can let that ship <laughs> sail and that boat sink and do something else with uh, a lot of integrity. He's still got, he's still plenty young enough to uh, do some surprising and amazing things. So I want to check on his safety and then his future outlook. So... My question for the universe is, James O'Keefe, founder of Project Veritas, he took on a big adversary that seems to be pushing back when he took on Pfizer. I'd like to check on his, uh, his physical well-being, the 
well-being of the original first version, <laughs> James O'Keefe, his well-being, is he safe? And then his outlook moving forward, whether it's with Project Veritas or something new that he starts. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, universe, please show us the uh, safety and overall outlook for James O'Keefe, founder of Project Veritas, who is currently on paid leave as a uh, coup seems to be in process. Brought to you by Pfizer. Okay, Ten of Cups, Strength, love it so far. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Six of Wands, Page of Wands, High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, the Moon. Okay, well, the uh, the cards start off looking really good for Mr. O'Keefe. We've got the Ten of Cups, which is indicating him, and that's a celebration card. It's one of uh, family and good connections with uh, um, his his those he's close to. I mean, I'm not saying workplace close, but you know, in relation that there's some he has some good strong ties and. He was, you know, top of his game, okay? Also, he's indicated by the strength card. So he is a force to be reckoned with. And uh, no matter what the board tries to do with this coup, um, that's not going to change. Very, very strong character. So that's one of the reasons why we were inquiring about his safety. Because as we know, when you oppose the deep state and you get past a certain level, then you're in danger. And uh, then all of a sudden you have different earlobes, right? Okay, so let's check about his, uh, the possibility of him having different earlobes, if you know what I mean when I say that. In the recent past, he was riding high. I mean, this is a victory card. He was, that Pfizer expose was great. And it was something that needed to come out. And I'm sure that is the root of what's going on with this coup. Someone called in some markers and greased some fingers and uh, here we have it, okay? Luckily, I hear there's a lot of backlash from donors and uh, and then people like you and I that say, I'm unsubscribing. I'll just wait for wherever his voice lands, whether it's back with Project Veritas or not. We have the uh, page of wands here for the current situation, which even though he's on leave, this is one of cautious optimism, okay? It may also be some of this 5D chess, which I think he is quite capable of playing, where he had... He set it up where someone would tip their hand a little too early. And now he's really going to know who he can trust, who he can't, who he needs to get rid of and not align himself with in the future. Okay, he is going to use this information um, for very good future decisions. Let's look at some future decisions coming up because he's got some big ones coming up. The High Priestess is uh, showing here on the main line for the near future. Okay, and she always indicates, consider carefully. He's gonna have some options and choices for action to take, and he needs to very carefully consider those. Okay, now I'm getting the feeling he will because our strongest advice and insight card here is the Nine of Pentacles. And she is very wise and, um, and well rewarded for it, okay? So, this is his strongest as Bryce card, which is good because on the other side for insights, we have the moon card, which is never really a positive card at all. If if we looked at this as anything else and it would kind of bolster what we have here with the, uh, you need to make careful decisions as you make your decisions moving forward. Okay. But um, sometimes this card can mean that you have to, that you should be uh, making careful choices and be aware that there are some mysterious aspects possibly at play with this, okay? 
And you need to navigate a situation really carefully. There's unseen dangers and elements. So this is kind of what he needs to look at looking forward. He'll be making some choices. He needs to make them carefully. He's going to make them well, which is good because it's going to mitigate the negative aspect on this side, which was already lesser anyway. Okay. But that there are some unseen elements going on. So there are adversaries and there are issues going on that even Mr. O'Keefe is not going to readily be aware of. Okay. Let's get a couple more cards. Well, there's a reassuring one. And that one. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is showing up. Tells us that ultimately he's going to be fine. Okay, because his positive outlook is good. Like I said, even if his voice does not get reinstated at Project Veritas, he's got a good prospects here. This is a success card, absolutely. And this card can mean numerous things, but its main meaning is always that when it comes to things spoken or written, whether it's contracts or thoughts, okay, uh, there's a lot less to worry about. If she would just open her eyes and look, there's a lot less to worry about that we may be worrying about, okay? So yeah, Mr. O'Keefe needs to be aware that he has some unseen opponents that even he is not quite aware of yet. And it may be simply if he is uh, mired in investigative reporting, he may not have looked into the more esoteric aspects of our world. So he may have some opponents that are using non-traditional um, measures to oppose him that he needs to take into consideration. But ultimately, it looks like he will. He's going to persevere and succeed. Love it. Okay, so those of you that have been watching my content for a while, you know that I have a firm policy. If someone is what I consider a member of our truth or community, I don't do a tarot read that makes it to video here on them unless I can give them a 90% or better endorsement. I'm giving that to James O'Keefe. He's got, into, he may be tough to work with, but he's got integrity and he has done a lot to shine light in corners that didn't want lights shined. He's a valued member of the community. Now, I also say, even though there's people that I say, absolutely, I'm not going to read about, with that 90% marker, there are days for accuracy that even with best intentions, I'm not going to make. So I'm never saying don't listen to somebody that they're completely um, untrustworthy, but it's up to you to use your discernment, even with the ones that are compromised or that are controlled opposition, to decide what you want to glean and take away from what content they put out. There will be some good in everybody's content. Okay. I have mentioned that even though I've never gone down one of these rabbit trails for information and had it come up totally empty, neither have I looked at even the most compromised truth or voice and found them to be totally devoid of some information that uh, was worth listening to. As always, use your discernment. I'm trusting you guys to be growing those skills of critical thinking and using your discernment. You don't need me to tell you who to listen to or not. Just you'll be a little more careful in what you accept from some voices than others, just like I am, just like we all should be. Okay, so let's recap. Mr. O'Keefe is on paid leave, okay? He does seem to have some danger in his near future that he needs to be aware of and avoid. Looks like that avoidance can be done successfully. Okay, and we're going to continue to hear from him. It doesn't look like we have to worry about earlobes changing. I hope not. I really don't. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for your time and the patronage you give me. I appreciate it so much that you listen to my content and I will try to always provide something um, with uh, Laura's view perspective possibly, but with the most accuracy and uh, honesty and integrity that I can because those, those attributes are very important to me. Now, on a separate note, I recorded a uh, interview with uh, Linda Paris today. She's on a, a site that rhymes with Bumble and <laughs> a site that ends with Itchute. <laughs> 
and she has McAllister TV. And that is going to go up on Saturday or Sunday of this weekend. So the 11th or 12th, it'll be up. And uh, you're welcome to watch that there. We just, we did, we incorporated one card read and just talked and a little bit was reminiscing and talking about, you know, what kids need these days, you know, to uh, grow up and be self-starters and self-reliant too. So I, but, you know, the conversation ranges. Also, a week from Sunday on the 19th, we'll be having a live stream meditation. And the focus, although we're not limited to it, but we're going to start off um, looking at things that give us joy and happiness, okay? All right, hopefully you won't have to dig too deep to think of those things that bring you joy. And um, and then at the end of that, I'll be encouraging people to share any uh, numerous one-liners that are, you know, let's keep it fairly clean. But I want everybody to, to think about things that make them smile. And, uh, you know, whether it's like me with my laser point or with my younger kitty, you know, uh, whatever makes you smile or a joke that made you laugh, you know, just feel free to share it with us. Because even though we're in complicated times and there is such a push to have everybody to be fearful and divided, it's love and laughter and kindness that are going to bring us together and that are are truly some of our strongest weapons. So let's bring that laughter and uh, in incorporate that into our meditation. And that'll be on the 19th. So until next time, I send you love and light and wish you all things bright. Good night.